what is up y'all today we got a big video for you guys unfortunately the beans could not make it in this video because of how big the product is today we have the 25th anniversary pikachu v union celebrations premium playmat collection um, we decided to pick up the premium because our table is a little raggedy it's just white it's a little boring so a playmat might make it a little more interesting so with that said let's get right into this um, packaging is really cool i did want to keep it sealed but like i said the playmat is a little valuable at the moment so i'm gonna pop it open against my better judgment all right comes like that nicely packaged I can already feel the playmat underneath i think oh yeah something was kept getting stuck so i guess we'll start with that comes rolled up pretty nicely let's see if i can get this tape off i tend to struggle with this kind of stuff and all right, big reveal, ready? Is it upside down? Oh, upside down, of course. Super unlucky. There it is. 25th anniversary train on logo with the little Pikachu tail right there. Um, it's pretty nice. Let's see if we can fit it into the frame now. All right, guys, so that was a little messy, but got it down had to put it under the stuff so you can see part of the logo at least unfortunately you can't see the whole thing but i do think it's a nice touch makes it look a little more clean and professional uh the table so kind of worth opening it already in my opinion um so then yeah let's get back into the opening there we go so let's pop all of these out all right so I didn't know we even, ca even came with this, but we have a Professor Burnett uh, in here. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I haven't seen any of the op openings, so that's pretty cool to see how they added a little extra card. Unfortunately, it's not holographic or anything. It would have been a really nice touch if it was holographic or full art, especially for a set like this. You would expect it to at least be holographic since it's, it's such a small set. All right, let's start from the bottom left corner. That's card number one. Beautiful holographic. I do not like the fat borders on this. It looks better on the jumbo card, but on these mini cards, it looks a little weird how big the borders are. Um, let's see. Top left. Again, same idea here. You still have that problem where like the borders just look really weird. It's like as if it's miscut almost is what it reminds me of. Top right. Um, same exact problem. This one has a little promo logo on the top right. And last but not least, the bottom right. Uh, really cool artworks. You have a bunch of different Pikachus, and we can get a better look on it on the Jumbo card all together. It's beautiful. It's just a combination of all of them. Can't wait to put it inside the Jumbo binder that we have. You guys may or may not have seen it in previous videos. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of different iterations, different styles of Pikachu that they've made over the years. It's really, really cool. I love this one especially. Very cute artwork. Um, very unique, too. I guess that part done with. And let's see, it doesn't it doesn't come with as many packs as some of the other products, but it still comes with a nice amount of packs. So we have six celebration packs. Or no, sorry, can't count. Oh no, yeah, six. Six celebration packs. And then it also comes with a little nice bonus. It comes with, I think, three. Yep. Three regular packs. We have Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, and Chilling Rain. We won't open these ones here today because we do have a decent amount of celebrations to get through and those have been pretty difficult for me to even open in general. So we're not gonna keep the video going on for too long. Let me just put all this plastic away real quick. All right. I say let's just get right into this opening. See if I can get some better luck with trying to open these today. First pack not going so well as usual. All right, there we go. Cosmom, you guys know I hate him. Terrible, terrible card, but it is a very cool artwork, I'll admit. Dialga and Kyogre. Super beautiful artwork, but of course, not the pull we're looking for. Gold Mew, nothing. All right, first code card for whoever is interested. There you go. All right, next pack. That's a terrible to open. Really don't want to damage the cards, but it's just almost impossible for me to get these open cleanly. 
All right, first card, Xerneas, Yvelto, and Claydol. We already pulled these in one of the other videos. Not the most exciting pull, but still a pull nonetheless. Um, and the back, regular Mew. Definitely not the Mew we're looking for. There's the code card for you guys. Um, we'll sleeve up the Claydol real quick. Not the coolest card, but still want to sleeve him up just in case. All right, next pack. The set has been pretty exciting for us so far. Haven't done many openings, but in a previous video, we got some pretty big hits, as you guys may have seen. A couple of repeats, though, unfortunately, but we need to get one of those big three already. Maybe today we can get the Charizard. Here comes Team Rocket. I think that's a new one for us. Can't quite remember, but pretty cool pull. And Zacian V. Technically a hit, but not the one you want to see. Here's the code card. I'm not going to sleeve the Zacian for now, but we are going to sleeve the Here Comes Team Rocket. If I remember correctly, they added this in because it was the first time an anime, a character from the anime appeared in a card. Might be wrong about that. Actually, might be wrong about that. But Pretty sure it's what I saw. Starting to get the hang of these a little more with the openings, but still pretty difficult. Got him two pulls technically, two hits, but hopefully we can get something bigger before the end of the day. Alright, we got Zekrom, we got Groudon, and just the Ho-Oh. And in the back is Zamazenta, again, not the hit we want to see in the back. We're looking for that gold Mew. Or of course, if not, one of the VMAXs. I think we're still missing one of them. There's the code card. All right, two more packs left. Two more packs. Hopefully, we can get lucky on them. Starting off with a Ho-Oh. Gonna count that as a good sign. Hopefully, Ho-Oh can be our lucky charm. All right. Ho-Oh. Lugia. Zekrom. And nothing for this pack. A complete dud, unfortunately. Code card. All right, last pack. We gotta get a big hit. Refuse to let this video go down without a big hit. There we go, putting up a little bit of a fight. Hopefully it means something, something good in there. All right, last pack. We're gonna actually, for this last pack, show you the code card first. Let's move the classic collection or the hypothetical classic collection to the back. Let's get right into it. Lugia, Zekrom, Pikachu. Nice, the full art base set recreation of Pikachu. And hopefully another big pull before we end the video. Oh, oh, so nothing crazy. This Pikachu does feel really like oddly thin for some reason. Maybe it's the amount of ink on him, but it's a little, it's a little weird. So not a crazy pull, but I will sleeve him up. And uh, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. Here are some of our pulls. Um, some of the big ones that we got, I guess, technically, though they're not huge. Um, hopefully next video we can actually open some more celebrations packs. We can get some more big pulls. That would be really, really fun. And um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please let us know. Leave a like. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, um, you can comment that. You can comment that uh, down below. We'd really appreciate it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.